The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Wenn hart wird, es hat ein, was gern gerammt. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunts pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Ciri. I will, if that's what she wants. Shegenatuvin. I'll do that, but I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Ciri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me and my axe. Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. Refuse into taverns with ordinary folk. Leave it. Not you. 
duty. How'd you discover it was a city corridor? Like dung that flows to the sewers, <laughs> so the worst scum flows into Novigrad. Sorceresses, they're debauchery putting. Do. What do you want? Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morin soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. to open a whorehouse in Vizima. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. What do you do here, Hunt Scoyatel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Scoyatel anymore? Temerian, that's what matters. Could use your help at Kaer Morin. Aim to take Ciri there. Well, Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morhen. A Witcher. Just what I... Now, witches, they can't catch the pox.
Can we talk? Yen and I went to Hindersfjall. Oh? Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape with the villagers. I know. You needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you'll find her soon. The Wild Hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. A Wild Hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Ciri? I know where she is. And the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. Oh, I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Morhen. Thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice, as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So, I thought perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. I suppose I could try, but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Oh man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. Shoulder to shoulder with a witcher. I shall gain wherever I find it and grant our foes no rest. Gain evil wherever I find it and grant our foes no rest. Already you Oh no I vow of silence Three years Three years not a word not a peep Until today you made me break my vow Happy Oh sorry Someone tricked me, I thought. Boo-hoo-hoo! 
my deeper sympathies. Now get out of my sight, you imbecile! Heard him screaming clear over here. Grand work, Witcher. Your reward as promised. Don't like being played for a fool. Remember that, or next time you'll be the one left speechless. Friends we show heart, foes we show our backs. It is Logan's birthday tomorrow. I have no clue what to get. Maybe a nice little axe. Got me eye on you. Yeah. That caught a turd. Friends we show heart, foes we show our axe. Remember that. Did you sever his head? Your Royal Majesty. Would you spare a moment? Come home, Geralt. And the same lass I was, save for the title, a lot of things changed. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Crocs mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't leave the Isles now. It's impossible. What I can do is give you my best warrior, Yalmar. Think you'll be willing? I'm sure of it. In fact, I think I'll be overjoyed. Come on, you know him. Yeah, guess I do. Thanks. No doubt he'll be valiant. I hope he proves useful too. Good luck. They had to toss some into the drink sea. last night too. Weren't enough room in the longboat to dine with fine tail you. Ah, Geralt. How are things? The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood in battle such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. What they'll say. Three pots of heart stopper, a bottle of rum, and washed it all down with wine. A killer. Bow before modern prayer. Well, my dad's off fighting the black. You went from Nilfgaard, are you? Adventure seeker. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yalmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. This isn't easy. But I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri. 
I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the on Crate family for centuries. And now it's yours. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Never return. So the others. I wonder what Monster they'll say. Look at He's back. And our hero fight so fast he lost his cat. Aye, Havern's a buzz about it. To battle shoulder to shoulder with a witcher. May your axe never crumble. I didn't I see we'd see crap. Not so fast, Roach. Slow now. Thank you. 
at the hut. I'll look inside. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman, ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No! How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census! Buy my mum's beer. Get yourselves together, lads. You there! Outside the door! Geralt! That right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt. Let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck. Recently. Beasts from the depths ate some of my lads, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrustful. This conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. I'm not a demon. I will try to dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? Aye, but I'm not counting either. Coming too easy. How many are there? Three. Ivo, Gaspar, and Ferenc. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edric insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Tried to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger wouldn't budge. Gaspard. Where'll I find him? He said it was defeatist. Said the wait to be rescued. We had to take action, or at least he did. Plinko spotted a lantern out to sea, so he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for ships. Where'd Ferenc go? West, in search of a ship that's said to be out there. Ferenc, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Need to see what the. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I am content to understand. Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I've one regret that. Oh, ah, ah! 
dead. Damn. to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. Wh what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror swarmed Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, I know what it means. Don't worry, I'll keep you awake. <sighs> Off we go, then. You're a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing.
me to feel it. Steady legs, too slow. Stronger than me, I'm sure. Wake up. Right, right. Just a wee bit longer. Get up. So, what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Brought you your friend. Not sure. Let's hear him then. Wake up. Uh, I'm awake. Ha <laughs> ha! Gaspard! Stand back! I'm opening the door! Gaspard! Ha! You seem a bit muddled. Eh, uh, muddled. A bit drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Ravenick told me to have an eye on the snort. Twas his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me, but I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat.
Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spala. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Avalach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. I wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morin, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalog? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalok helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. He doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalok tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process? Well, that's a necessary sacrifice. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared. Out of nowhere, he found a portal and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. The world where Eridan couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> we should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell headfirst and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us, and Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eridin cursed Avalach, triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Velen.
that you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalark's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting weapon. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm-hmm. Big as a bison, and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. I had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalach, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found, and I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage, one with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm, failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of Novigrad, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Horson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damned Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. We hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we'd just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me use my power. Just as Eredin can sense where I am. Where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten. The hunt's attack, my flight, and then dreams, just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately, pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh, that was horrible. I had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you. 
But you were cold as ice, and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. Damn! Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Welcome back, child. Siri! My, you've grown beautiful. No point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. Just like I remembered. <laughs> what? Little sis. Here, everyone you asked for help. Avalux resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Damn, it's good to see you again. Glad to see you, Triss. Thank Yennefer. She's the one who invited me. There'll be time to talk later. We should confer now. Yen, you know the Wild Hunt better than anyone else. Tell us about the magic they use. Their navigators open portals, rifts that we might counter with Dimeridium or our own magic. They also summon the frost that occupies the voids through which they travel. There's just not enough of us. It'll be a hard fight. Good to see you. Your phone now. They told me the hunt was after that. That those buggers might burst in uninvited. So I've made a Mahakam and mix. When this plowing blows, it'll be bits and pieces, nothing more. Bring all your tools with you? 
thought to myself, a battle approaches. Blades will need honing. Plate will need some hammering. That sort of thing. Thought right. Thanks, Sultan. Plan to top that by brewing some more of my hackam and mix. Shade's so volatile you need but glance at it to set it off like a flaming fart. Very useful during sieges. All right. We'll talk later, Zoltan. Great to see you in a good mood, Zoltan. Glad you got her back here. I certainly hope this gas will work. It shall. We must just ignite it at the right moment. And that hole, is that uh, there um, for good? We shall worry about the hole once it is all over. And now, step back, Master Richard. She's one of us, Geralt. No way we'll let him take her. Damn piece of junk. Barely younger than Vesem. Esco. Greetings, Wolf. Thanks for coming, both. No need. By the way, it seems you forgot to invite me. Oh, hold your excuses, Geralt. Vess vented on me all the way here. She's almost over it. Are we really to be so few? Quality's what counts, not quantity. A witch's approach. Works when hunting and fighting beasts, not necessarily in full-scale battles. I certainly hope you know what you're doing. We'll scout around a bit. Need to acquaint myself with the battleground. Elbow high. It's high enough. You drop your bit every time you release the string. Apart from which, flaming projectiles require a different trajectory. <laughs> Greetings, Geralt. If I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. Leave my dresser alone. Getting all gussied up for the wild hunt? Women only ever beautify themselves for their own satisfaction. Glad you're here. It's good to see you again. Expected you earlier. I started off heading in the opposite direction, but then turned around. What made you change your mind? There are times when a woman should simply not explain her decision. That goes doubly for sorceresses. Get everybody together. Time to talk. Thank you for coming. The Wild Hunt will be here soon. They're coming for Ciri. Wanna take her? We'll stop them. How do you even know the hunt will show? They always know where I teleport to. And they move from place to place in an instant. So what's our plan? There aren't many of us, but I'd trust any of you with my life. Work together and we'll defeat the hunt. When they attack, Yen will dome the fortress with a magic shield. Hunt will be forced to land outside the walls. If they're dispersed out in the woods, we could hunt down small groups of riders. 
Got our first volunteer for the hunting party. I'm the second. The hunt will try to penetrate into the fortress through navigator portals. I can do nothing against this kind of magic, so you'll need to find and close as many as you can while hunting in the woods. Lambert will make us dimeridium bombs. Remember the formula? Of course. Excellent. Erden should work on the portals as well. I shall also give you each an amulet. Snap them in half and you'll become invisible, at least while you remain still or move slowly. Move abruptly, engage any foes, clash with them, and they will see you. Apart from that, they will be able to hear you and smell you. If you come across a large unit, do not attack. Signal Triss and she will provide support. I'll look for your signal. Soon as I see it, I'll rain fire on the forest. Remember, there's only a few of us. We have to help each other, work together. If anything goes wrong and the hunt puts us on the defensive, we pull back, make a stand at the gates of the fortress. The inner courtyard is our last line of defense. If we don't stop them there, we're doomed. Ciri's most important in all of this. The hunt's after her, and we have to defend her at all costs. What do I do? Stay inside the keep. If they break through, come inside. We'll all converge to help you. Out of the question. I can look after myself. No one doubts that, child. But remember the most important moment when hunting a monster? Wait for an opportunity. After the council, I'll give you an amulet. If you use it, a ball of fire will land where you're standing, just in case. What else do we have that we can use? Since you plan to ambush the hunt in the woods, I could dig some trapping pits, blue stripe style. Meaning? Deep as the dark abyss, bottoms bristling with sharpened stakes. I brought this my Hackerman mix. Flammable as bone dry saltpeter and plowing sticks to everything. We fill some barrels, stack them in a narrow passage, and fire them up at an opportune moment. You know we stand on a vast deposit of gas. If need be, I could open cracks in the earth create explosions. I would need to prepare, though. There's a laboratory and the workshop. One thing to remember, we've got limited resources and even less time. We ought to decide what kind of weaponry will be most useful against the hunt. Absolutely. We need to assign one type of weaponry each to the lab and workshop. Who needs access to the lab? I started brewing some potions. Like to finish, if you don't mind. I could prepare more of those witcher's traps, but I'd need all the lab equipment. There aren't many of us, so we'll need to prepare as many traps as possible. Let's talk about the workshop. Then wanting to fix that breach in the wall, but we'll need the same tools to clear the rubble from the armory. Rubble? Haven't you heard? Roof caved in a couple of years back. There's some excellent swords in there. Swords we could use. Filling in the breach seems just as important. They come through there, the siege will be over awfully quick. that can pierce the Hunt's armor. Gotta clear the armory. We won't have time to do much else. Everything settled? Yes, settled. We don't have much time, so let's get to work. Let's sum up. Yennefer will create a magic barrier to repel the main assault. That should push the opposing force into the woods, where Lambert and Geralt will be waiting. They'll use Dimeridium to close the Navigator's portals, stop as many warriors as possible from entering the fortress. Triss will be waiting for their signal, then give the riders hell. All others will repel any foes who make it inside the fortress walls. If anything goes wrong, we abandon the outer courtyard, pull back to the keep. Remember, Aridan can't get his hands on Ciri. That's most important. 
Let's look at the map of the fortress, figure out the details. Can't help feeling we've overlooked something important. Don't think about it. Wanted to talk about what we can expect. Thanks. Not interested. You should talk to Siri. Fine mood she's in. I'm exposing you all to danger. Unnecessarily. You worry too much. Wipe that frown off your face. We'll make it. Can't help but worry. We're short on meteorite steel swords. Got enough for everyone. Here. Vesemir dug this up for you. Gnome forged blade. Crossguard's elven handiwork. Cuts through armor like butter. Thanks. For everything. I'll saddle the horses. Come once you're ready to head into the woods. Talk coming. I won't let them take you. You know that. I know. You gotta keep clear. Stay out of trouble. Don't treat me like a child. Didn't even do that when you were one. I like it when you smile. Come here. Everything will be alright. 